I mean, it is always nice to see when the media predicts another pump after the original one, according to Seeking Alpha. Hold on your chair. Speculatively, I would consider buying AMC stock because my further research shows that the moves, like we saw on the original pump on Friday, will continue with another pump. But don't rush to buy anything because they said that in the end, each pump leads to a bursting of the formed bubble. When the fundamentals again take over for market sentiment. In other words, the big boys on Wall Street essentially gonna short each and every pump on the way down. And of course, the most asked question is how long this pump will last? I'm already hearing people talking about Chancellor Zorn taking vacation through August, which means no particular decision will be made, which potentially means additional selling pressure for the APE and very interesting gains potentially for AMC Common, something that we saw today as well. They also add that they urge all speculators not to forget the stop losses. Think about the short sellers as well. I'm still wondering, did they actually close some of the short positions back in Friday when the pump appeared? Also, they said that all long-term investors, they wish them good luck in selecting other companies for their portfolios. <laughs> so you see the twist? They encourage you to trade, to buy in. But they want to warn you that something could go wrong very fast. And they warn you that looking forward, long run, you better look for different stocks to hold in your portfolio. What is actually very interesting, over the weekend I told you, there will be a lot of day traders. There will be very good volume today, something that we saw. 20-30% again outperforming the general market. This speaks to the point in which there will be a lot of people hopping in, knowing if we have the confirmation that Chancellor will not make decision until the end of August, giving so much opportunities on the market to trade these particular securities, meaning that at least we have secured the very good volume. Second thing that I mentioned over the weekend, that they will be sell-offs. They will be day traders taking profits during the intraday, something that we saw today. Remember, AMC was at very good standing when the market opened and then we saw the dump. And most likely, who knows, but uh, the, the potential price action will be similar. The main idea over here is to see AMC making new highs, not finding consolidation at these current levels. Going back to 8 bucks and holding above these 8 bucks will be very, very important, will be crucial. Call options 7, 8, 6. And the very good example for it, today we close under $6. This represents again that majority of the call options might not be hedged, something that we saw last week. Do you think that they hedged the, the, the call options all the way to eight hours last week when the market closed? I don't think so. That most likely you're gonna see the settlement period coming up this week. This means that in the middle of the week, no matter what kind of sales we will have, we're gonna have a opposition of buying pressure. This means that some of the of, of, of the short sellers might actually be forced to close some of the short positions if the price consolidates at a higher level. This is not higher level, under six bucks. We're looking to close above 750 or around eight bucks. This is consolidation at a higher level, meaning potentially some of the short sellers might be forced to cover some of the short positions. So this is the main catalyst I'm seeing at the short term. We have to have a verification of the chancellor's vacation, and then we can actually expect what we already discussed. We might expect the, the ape simply to see even greater selling pressure because if the people, hedge funds who went long on the ape, are still convinced that the conversion will pass, they will double down on the ape when the ape hits new lows. Think about it. So if you have this time frame of one month, keep selling off the ape, pushing it lower and lower and lower, at the same time going closer to the actual decision from the revised version of the uh, settlement, short sellers who are short on the common stock will most likely double down on the ape in the very last days prior to the revision of the settlement when the ape most likely will be at the low point. This is why they're gonna double down because it's cheap and they expect the conversion to pass. Again, everything is, is, is a huge speculation, but this is how I see the trade going forward. Very good volumes. I'm seeing a lot of new traders hopping in. The, the feel when you read the media feels like uh, maybe in the middle of 2021, after the first run up of, of, of the short squeeze place. And then we have plenty of media speculating, still having days of 20, 30% daily gains outperforming the market. Uh, definitely feels this way. Yeah.